The harsh wild nature makes the African Aboriginal tribes become reckless, even with wild animals. Due to the lack of food because of fast-moving prey such as gazelle or wildebeest, destitute Aborigines risked their lives to steal food from dangerous predators such as crocodiles, leopards, and even lions. More frightening, they are ready to use the bodies to lure prey to bite. This way, they will not spend much hunting, but the cost is extremely expensive, even the lives of these Aboriginal people. Number 1. Aboriginal Africans recklessly robbed the prey of the hungry lions. The lions is the most dangerous and bloodthirsty predator of the African savanna. The king of the jungle is a death machine that can give death to anyone it wants. However, humans are still fearsome enemies and hold the key to their life and death on the black continent. Harsh wild nature threatened survival forced the African Aborigines to rob the prey of wild animals, especially lions to maintain life. This is a model battle because they can snatch succeeded the prey or become the lion's hearty meal in an instant. In this situation, with only weapons such as bows and arrows, the reckless Aborigines took the prey of more than 15 hungry lions. The hungry lions have successfully hunted a large prey. They are celebrating together without knowing that there is danger lurking behind. The Aboriginal group, after discovering that the lions had just hunted delicious prey, immediately prepared bows and arrows, spears, to attack these wild animals. Taking advantage when lions aren't paying attention, the Aboriginal group recklessly headed towards the party, holding weapons ready to find to get the prey. The kings of the jungle were suddenly attacked, fled in a panic, quickly escaped and leave behind the prey they had just hunted. Number 2. African Aborigines used the leg to lure giant pythons. During the breeding season, African rock pythons often stay in a cave to lay eggs. This is what makes them extremely aggressive and ready to attack intruders. However, the Aborigines of Africa took advantage of this to catch giant pythons. For example, in this situation, instead of using rabbits or mice to lure the giant pythons, the bone aborigines used their own feet to bait the notoriously brutal giant python. These aborigines discovered the rock python lying in the cave. Immediately, they planned to hunt for large prey. A young man was sent as bait to lure the rock python. They applied a lubricating oil layer and wrapped a thick cloth around the young man's leg. The hunt for the giant python has officially begun. After a few minutes of baiting, the female python crawled out and swallowed the young man's leg. Quickly, all the aborigines rushed in to drag the young man out of the hole and easily grab the prey. But this is an extremely reckless action because rock pythons are dangerous cold-blooded predators. When attacked, they are ready to strangle and swallow an adult in a few minutes. Number 3. Being blatantly robbed prey by African Aborigines, Titas held rudges. In this video, as soon as they discovered two titans preparing to hunt, the two aborigines stood from afar to observe. 
After a difficult hunt, two Titans finally caught a Thomason antelope. However, when they started to enjoy the feast they had just hunted, the two Titans were faced with another challenge, which was to protect the prey from the robbery of two Aboriginal Africans. These two Aboriginal people continuously agitated and attacked towards the two Titans. The two Titans also showed that the two Aboriginal people are no match for them. They split up and constantly head towards the Aboriginal people to bite and threaten. In the end, despite their best efforts, but before the recklessness of these two people, the big cat had to accept defeat and bitterly watch the meal being stolen. Number 4. Aboriginal Africans are very smart using monkeys to hunt wild boars. In the wild, boar hunting of the African Aboriginal, the cunning monkeys are always an effective and indispensable assistant. When released, they will cling to the back of the prey to reduce their running speed, and the rest is for the Aborigines to run after and use the net to catch the prey neatly. Specifically, in this situation, the Aboriginal group discovered the wild boar was looking for food and they immediately chased the prey. The wild boar panicked and ran quickly. At the same time, two monkeys chased and climbed on the back of the wild boar to slow down the speed. Being chased by the people with sticks, the wild boar ran faster and faster. The chase was extremely intense. In the end, the Aboriginal group caught a wild boar. Number 5. A close-up of the Aboriginal robe hunting giant shark In the Aboriginal culture of Melanesia, boys are forced to go through many terrifying tasks to be recognized as adults and respected by those around them. One of those tasks was catching giant sharks with bare hands. This man is performing a shark catching demonstration to teach his son with a tune in one hand, a bait in the other hand, the man is trying to lure the shark to near him. It didn't take too long. Just a few minutes later, a shark fell into the trap. As soon as he noticed the signal, the Aboriginal man used all his skills, experience, and weapons in their hands to wrestle, control, and drag the shark to his position. End of a successful hunting trip. Through the daily life of the Aboriginal people, we can somewhat imagine the life of our ancestors and prehistoric people, a life that only serves the most basic needs, has fierce and dangerous competition with other creatures to be able to survive.